Well, Israeli warplanes also targeted Rafah in southern Gaza on Thursday night. An airstrike on a house killed at least eight Palestinians, and several children and at least one woman are among the dead as well. We'll get an update with Al Jazeera's Hani Mahmoud. He's joining us from Rafah in southern Gaza. So, Hani, just tell us what, what has happened overnight, because we understand there have been more killing and targeting of Palestinians and more displacement, including in areas like Rafah, where you are. Yes, Darin. Well, the past uh, couple of days have been very intense here in Rafah city, where not only we're seeing a deteriorating, unprecedented humanitarian catastrophe going on, but the fact that there is ongoing intense bombing campaign uh, at the entire city, at the eastern part, where there is an active, ongoing, almost non-stop artillery shelling of the eastern area. But the central area of the city and the western part of it, where the vast majority of the displaced Palestinians have set up their tents, uh, been a site of major relentless uh, airstrikes. Just overnight attacks, about midnight, uh, eight people uh, have been killed as a result of intense, uh, in, uh, relentless airstrikes on their flats. They were sheltering inside the flat, including women uh, and children who fell uh, casualties of those uh, attacks on, on the residential homes they were uh, inside. They were all rushed here to Adequati Hospital. Those who sustained uh, critical wounds did not, uh, did not also make it, uh, as there is an extreme shortage of medical supplies and, and the, 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 the fact that they have had to wait until a doctor uh, was available or a nurse to uh, conduct the, inter the, 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 the intervention, the, the necessary medical intervention uh, for them. It was too late and they lost uh, their, their lives. In, in other areas, other than Rafah, the intense bombing campaign continues to pound uh, across the central uh, area and uh, overnight attacks on a residential compound for an extended family, a well-known extended family in the central area uh, where uh, members of the family were sheltering inside the compound where was targeted and destroyed. Uh, it was uh, quite difficult for the paramedics and the civil defense crew on the ground to get to, to the targeted sites and to help remove people from under the rubbles or save those who might have survived those uh, massive uh, attacks. It was until early hours of this morning as the day breaks, uh, people, uh, civil defense crew were able to pull people from under the rubbles. But we're looking at the large number of casualties who arrived to Al-Aqsa Hospital and already overwhelmed a hospital suffering from shortage of medical supplies and insufficient number of medical uh, staff. Around the vicinity of, of Nasser Hospital, snipers uh, are taking uh, uh, the, the top roofs of, of the building surrounding the hospital and shooting at every moving object inside the court uh, yard of the hospital or around its vicinity. So far, 17 people have been collected from around the hospital and the roads leading to the main gates of the hospital. Uh, and there are more who are being shot at, including people who were at one of the balconies on the rooftop of the hospital trying to pick up a phone signal or an internet signal uh, uh, particularly at this time in which Han Yunus is uh, experiencing a blackout in communications. Okay, Hani, thank you for that update from Rafah in the